Hey, hey, segways. Around four months ago, I reacted to a video where crazy Aunt Lady Energy Patty Negri conjured and embodied the spirit of Michael Jackson. I had a lot of fun with this video. And it seems from reading the comments, many of you guys also had fun with this video. But Batty's antics were so ridiculous, so stupid, that it was surely a one-time thing, right? Michael. Surely there is no way that a second video is out there of an attention-starved celebrity psychic medium shameless enough to attempt another dumb stunt like this. I think you can all guess where I'm going with this little performance of mine. Most Haunted's Derek Akora took it upon himself to attempt such a ridiculously insane performance. And much like Batty Negri, Derek does not disappoint. So, let's get stuck into the video. <laughs> I really am one of the world's biggest Michael Jackson fans, which is why, like you all, I was devastated when I found out he had died on June the 25th this year. Michael Jackson died in 2009, so this is hardly the most cutting edge video that I've ever done. But this really is a wild ride. And I'm sure there are many of you watching this video that have not seen the original seance. I do have to take a moment to clarify something. I did make a few Michael Jackson jokes in my last video, cause who in their life hasn't made a Michael Jackson joke? But I am still a huge MJ fan. The first album I ever bought was Michael Jackson's Bad on cassette. I'm probably showing my age right now. And also, just an FYI, I want to keep this video light and entertaining, so I'm going to try and steer away from some of Michael Jackson's more controversial accusations. This is Michael Jackson, The Live Seance. The last video I watched of some idiot trying to conjure the spirit of Michael Jackson was in fact on a YouTube channel. What we are watching right now is a TV special on Rupert Murdoch's Sky. A lot of TV executives and producers would have had a hand in green lighting this absolute nonsense so it made it on air. And I really need to stress this. This was a live broadcasting. This went out on live TV and yes, I was still in the UK when this happened and I watched it live too. I haven't watched it since, so this is the first time me revisiting this since 2009. Now, I will be making fun of those who were involved in the show, but I also need to take a moment to acknowledge all of the idiots behind the scenes to make this disaster actually happen. Stupid. 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 Stupid, 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 stupid. We are taking part in an incredible TV first. It ended up being the last. At least I hope it was. I had a quick look on Google and I couldn't find anyone else stupid enough to try this bullshit. As we attempt to contact him one last time in a live seance with medium Derek Akora. Derek Akora died back in 2020. He is widely regarded as being one of the biggest fake psychic mediums. And honestly, when you see some of his performances on the show he's best known for, Most Haunted, I think you'd struggle to find anyone who thinks now or even back then that this guy wasn't just trolling all of us. Confrontation! Dude! Confrontation! <laughs> Activity there with... Uh... You alright? Mm -hmm. Mary loves dick. Mary loves dick. Mary loves dick. Take thy hand off me, wench. No, you don't scare me. Come on, what's your surname? Oh, scuttle your legs! Oh, will you now? Let me go. What an eccentric performance. I will be making jokes at Derek's expense, and before anyone accuses me of bullying a dead guy, as seen here on the UK sketch show Bo Selector, Derek clearly has a good sense of humour and could take a laugh at his own expense. I did a Ouija board once. We got in touch with an old relation of Kez's. I didn't know what sort of bird it was, obviously, because it were just letters, but it did spell out, Woohoo! <laughs> But suddenly, the hoo hoo changed into a horrible. <laughs> can you remember him, man? I can. That yeah. noise that all, every every dragon monster. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of 
annoying, really. Will we do it? No. But we have an incredible group of people to help us. <laughs> Where are we tonight? We are in Ireland, and the seance will be starting very shortly. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Fingers crossed, though, that Michael will come through. You need to cross all fingers and toes and your pelvis for that to happen. So, with me all of this evening, who better than one of Michael's closest and dearest friends, David Guest. David Guest has also died since this show went to air. So I don't want to speak too badly about him either. I just wonder how much money Sky paid him to be a part of this farce. But to be fair, David does seem like the type to believe in this kind of stuff. I may be crazy, but I am crazy anyway. Yeah, well, that we know, Davis. Yeah, well, that we know, Davis. Yikes. Yes, and even when I tour, I have little people on stage because they bring me good luck. <laughs> And I believe in leprechauns, too. Oh, well, then you've come to the right place. I'm here. I'm the leprechaun. Garth, <laughs> I'm the leprechaun. So what do you think Michael would have thought of what we're doing here tonight? They're ignorant. That's ignorant. Would he have thought we were crazy? <laughs> oh, oh, you crazy. No, he wouldn't think we're crazy. He'd think... Yeah, I didn't like it. Because we're not here to find out anything of who did this in a legal case, who did what, how he died. This show would have aired while Michael Jackson's doctor was being heavily criticized for his death in the media. But Conrad Murray's trial didn't take place till 2011. Wouldn't it have been so funny if this TV show was brought up during the trial in any kind of way? Good job Conrad's lawyer wasn't advised by the Warrens. Also helping us tonight in the seance are another group of people who loved Michael dearly, his fans. We have four of the biggest and most passionate of them around the table tonight so let's have a quick look at them each person much like carlo from the last michael jackson seance video michael. who left a comment in that video showing he has a good sense of humor are huge michael jackson fans well duh one of them even undergone plastic surgery to look more like michael jackson which is just absolutely mental to me if they just want to dress up like michael jackson then live and let live but going under the knife to alter your face to look like any celebrity should require some kind of psychological evaluation before any plastic surgeon should ever accept any money to do a procedure like that shame on you Anyway, Derek and the producers of this show, in my opinion, are exploiting all of these people. Because whereas Carlos had the look on his face that Patty was off her meds, Michael. these guys are hanging off Derek's every word. And you'll see what I mean as the video goes on. I'm sure tonight is going to be an amazing experience. Define amazing. Anyway, it's time to meet Derek. How are you feeling tonight? What energy are you feeling in this room? Well, quite a powerful force of residual energy. But on top of that, um, since earlier today, there's been a, a constant build-up of not of residual energy, but of energy from fresh spirit entry. Really? Really. Now and how I is feel this sounds going to work? Because a lot of people are thinking, what is this stuff? If people were sceptical before they started this shit, there'll be full-blown sceptics by the end of this psychic madness. Mm. How will this actually work? Well, quite simply, we're going to have sitting with us Three, three fans, okay, who are so, so um, committed in loving Michael Jackson. Yes. In other words, they'll be so agreeable and eager for this to be real that they'll believe any old bollocks that'll be thrown their way. That that love, once it's in the ether here, should help attract Michael into this um, ether, if you like. Do you actually believe the crap that comes out of your mouth? Dr. Matthew Smith, who you're going to be overseeing this. Now, you are a paranormal psychologist, right? Yes, a parapsychologist. That's yes. Right. My role tonight, then, is a, as an observer, and even better, we've actually got four fans here, Derek, oh, yes. so it's even more energy, oh, that's <laughs> great. Um, that's which great. is even better. But yeah. my role is going to be as an observer. I'll be in the room, so I'm here, basically, to kind of make sure that Derek's OK, and also the fans themselves, obviously, it could be a very, very emotional experience. So tonight, mainly just to kind of oversee things and make sure people are kind of comfortable. Parapsychology is pseudoscience. Pretty much all of mainstream science rejects it. But it is good that Sky make the effort to check if the participants are taken care of, since they could go a little bit loopy during Derek's performance. I mean, let's face it, they're already a little bit loopy. The problem is, me congratulating Sky for this is all a little bit premature, really. Because as the seance goes ahead, there's no duty of care for any of these guys. They just let Derek go wild on them. Now, the atmosphere here is completely charged. 
on with it. Yes, get on with it! The seance will be starting after the break. Just like me, please keep an open mind. Your mind will have to be so open that your brains will fall out. There is so much fucking padding in this, so let's just skip ahead. So, so Rachel, how have you coped with Michael's death? It must be tough for you, right? Yeah, I mean, just... You just keep going, you know, you just keep trying to keep yourself busy. Personally, I don't know why anyone would be so upset and mourn the death of someone if that same dead person wouldn't actually give a shit if you died. I appreciate you missed their art and what they stood for, but to grieve a celebrity's death like these guys are doing seems pretty unhealthy to me. Michael. Michael, mm -hmm. that is your real name, right? It's correct. I'm honoured and privileged to share the same first name as my idol. Michael is so dumb. It's an honour and a privilege to be here. Um, I think I can safely say for the best of us that it's, it's been a magical experience. You can already tell he's going to believe whatever bollocks comes out of Derek's mouth. Derek, how are you feeling? Do you think we actually are going to connect with Michael? Oh, he'll make sure of it. Sky booked him for a gig and Derek will not leave them empty-handed. My guide Sam has told me Michael is in close proximity. Oh, So exciting. if he tells me that, I believe him. So stupid. Stupid. That's good enough for me. Yeah. That's good enough for me. Yeah. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Why do I feel like this is the tagline for the whole show? Well, I'm going to hand over you to you, Dr. Matthew, so the sales may begin. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Well, Derek, basically, it's over to you. <laughs> So glad Dr. Matthews is here. This show couldn't have happened without him. When you're ready, in your own time, if you want to start the seance, and good luck. Now the fun really begins. Well, before we start the seance, I'd like to point out a few little things that we need to do. The most important thing Derek really has to do is pointing out the exits. It's what we call spiritual protection. Now, that's not against Michael. Michael, I know, is a very sincere, sensitive, loving person. It's outside Michael. In other words, influences that we don't want to come in. Like Martin Bashir's career. So it keeps it nice and clear for Michael and any other good spirit people that want to come and say hello to you. Hello. So if you just for a few moments, close your eyes for me, please. And, you know, I ask the higher side of life to um, empower the energy of protection to, to flow over our heads is definitely going over their heads. Over our shoulders, across our back, and to cover us completely against any negative force or energy that would like to come here to um, dishevel or cause any problems to our wanting a connection with Michael Jackson. What a fucking disgrace. Now, what I would like to talk about, if I may please, is this here, the hat, Michael's hat. Would you like to touch it, any of you? Sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Now, the first thing that I want to say, I don't know what you're sensing, feeling, but the first thing I want to say is I want to have this. This hat is here on the table, and this might sound bizarre. I think we can all agree that this is a very safe space for bizarre shit. But I feel as if this hat should be lofty. It's like as if it should be very high, and it's like flying, and it's flying, and it's flying, and then suddenly it descends and comes down and finds its rightful place. I honestly don't have a clue what he's talking about either. Why I get that, I don't know. But I feel something as if in, in like transition, as if the love of Michael goes and throws it high lofty, and it has to come down like a fallen star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, you should know how dumb you are. I just can't believe that's his hat. If you're already struggling to believe that this is Michael Jackson's hat, then good luck getting through the rest of this bollocks. It's got a presence in itself. Yeah. yeah. You, you can feel Michael's energy sense. around it. Yeah. It is funny to me looking at a convincing Michael Jackson lookalike and hearing that accent coming out. Yeah. You, you can feel Michael's energy sense. around it. Yeah. I'm sitting with the man in the middle. When this hat was being worn, can I tell you what emanates from this hat? It comes to my here to my forehead and it's as if um whatever was causing this was causing like a mi migraine type of um effect the hat wasn't doing it but what when he wore it at so many times i don't even have to place it on my head to feel this pain and the pain was in this really really bad at times um so that is caused within the vibrations of this hat 
With all due respect, what the fuck are you talking about? It's an acceleration of energy, energy, energy. Um, so Derek has started the seance. We need to go to a break. <laughs> Going to a commercial break during the first of this kind of seance is just really funny to me. You know, it's like they're doing this real crazy stunt, but they still got to make a couple of quid from the adverts. So something big happened during the break. Take a look at this. He's arranged himself here um, to um, talk. Um, his words. Damn, she has bought this hook, line and sinker. He's thanking you, every one of you, for not just attending for thinking for so long of coming here. So that's what happened during the break. So fucking nothing. Nothing happened at all. In the time they replayed that clip, plus June and David chatting in the studio, the seance is still going ahead and we're missing whatever's happening right now because this is all live. I mean, we're just missing bollocks at the end of the day, but still. Vera, Verna, Verna, she passed to this side, only a young girl, youngster. Derek's off his meds again. He's trying to get a hang of this. He's trying to get a hang of this. I would have thought Paddy Negri would have given him some practice. Bible. He's also said, okay, that he... He <laughs> he! Yes. Shimon! Yes, okay. Ch -ch the moon. I'm going mad. Will someone say hello to Quincy Jones for me? Time to start cranking the tune. <laughs> <laughs> <You hear that? laughs> this is just so stupid. You'll see Quincy. You say hello. Please. Hello, Quincy. Can we take a moment to appreciate how dumb this guy must have felt saying hello, Quincy, while looking Derek Acora dead in the eye? You know, all he wants, all he wanted, still wants. Why? Why couldn't my request be granted? Why couldn't it be granted? Derek does this a lot. He says a lot of nonsensical things in the hopes that whoever is listening to Derek's bullshit just thinks it's all really deep and meaningful. But this lady really does seem to think what Derek is saying is important. She is all in, and to be serious for a moment, this level of deception is flat out disgusting. Derek is a professional ass talker, and this lady is noticeably upset by what she's hearing. And let's not forget that a huge TV network like Sky are heavily involved in this absolute bullshit. Derek, can you hear me? It's Matthew. Can, is it, will Michael answer questions? Can the fans ask Michael questions? This is Matthew saying, Derek, you're talking bollocks and boring the shit out of everyone. Let's hurry things along and get some questions from the fans. Yes, he would like, he would like this. He would like this. Big, 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 big. <laughs> Michael, do you have a question? Michael, my good friend, my good friend, you have the same love and sensitivity as I, it oozes from you, please ask me, please ask me. <laughs> this is the worst. My friendship will always be alongside you. My friendship will always be strong. My friendship will never ever diminish. Friendship? Michael never knew the bloke. Thank you for constantly thinking of me. Your love will banish all the negative things that these people have said so wrongly about me. Well, this went from silly and funny to very, very disturbing very quickly. Michael, I love you so much. Do, do you realize how much I love you, Michael? I feel, I feel from your sincerity of love, it is paramount to me to receive that love. I love you also. I love you more, Michael. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know that is awful to laugh at, but his I love you more, Michael. is so funny to me. I love you more, Michael. My spiritual brother, I will look out for you. Don't be sad and hard anymore. No more, no longer. There's no need. 
Me and my hype of love dance sound. I think the reason this Michael Jackson seance video is more problematic than the other Michael Jackson seance video is really down to Carlo. You can see in Carlo's face that he thinks Patty Negri is full of shit. Michael! But in this video, everyone seems to be hanging on Derek's every word, and he is manipulating these guys like crazy. Derek is telling each and every one of them exactly what they have always wanted to hear from Michael Jackson, and they are hanging on his every word. Each of these people around the table are so desperate to be loved by Michael Jackson that they will fully embrace any bollocks coming out of Derek's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Derek probably now thinks he has a healing touch. I need an adult! I need an adult! What's his most favourite performance that I've performed? I really want him to type me that. Wait a minute. So this guy thinks that because Michael Jackson died, that Michael Jackson would have seen all of this guy's performances as Michael Jackson? I don't even know where to start with this. How self-centered does this guy think that Michael Jackson would have to be to spend his afterlife watching his fans do impersonations of him? And then how out of touch is this guy to think that Michael Jackson would be watching him do performances of Michael Jackson instead of, I don't know, looking over his own family and kids? Why would he think Michael Jackson would even know him? MJ is supposed to be a spirit. Not an all-seeing, all-knowing God. But putting all that aside for a second, Derek must be thinking, oh shit, how do I answer this one? Okay, thank you. He's backed off a bit, hasn't he? Derek doesn't know how to answer this because, of course, he's never seen this guy perform as Michael Jackson. Oh my God, I feel so good. Oh yeah, oh. Oh, slow down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Play with my balls. Play with my balls. You're 80% there, but he wants you to get to 90%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Derek was 100% there. Cheeky. Derek, we do not have much more time, so is there any final messages? Or final message. Let me take this opportunity to thank all of you for being with us today. Uh, you are the best looking group of men I think that any of us have seen. Good luck to all of you in the decisions you've made and in your careers. He wants you to know, as his fans, that he's going very, very close to his beloved children. At least Derek finally brought up Michael Jackson and his kids. I mean, he could have done this a bit sooner, but Patty Negri forgot to bring up Michael Jackson's relationship with his kids altogether. Michael! But even still, you would have thought Michael Jackson would have taken this opportunity to maybe pass a message on to his own kids. In fact, he's, when he leaves here, he's going with his grandmother and grandfather and his aunt, and he's visiting, he's going to them. And he's going to make sure Catherine, he wants his mother, yeah, okay, he's, he's just speaking, he wants cat. please mother, please mother, make sure that they are cared for. Mother's love, mother's love, please. This is why mom doesn't fucking love you. My <laughs> children. The time you can close it down, okay? So I shouldn't try okay. In other words, they gotta hurry things along because there's another show about to start. They're probably gonna end up running into a dream team. God damn, does anyone else remember that really shit show? Please go on your journey back to your lovely realm and we would like then to ch take these cherished memories with us of this lovely connection that you tried so hard with. I ask the higher power to close down all the conditions so we can walk away from this seance happy, adjusted. Some serious adjustments are needed after this shit. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, Michael. We love you. Love, love you. Love you. So, Dr. Matthew, what did you make of all of that? It's been fun, but I'm over this. Well, that was really, I and mean, you can see, essentially, it was a very, very emotionally charged experience. I don't think any of us expected it to be quite at that level. Um, I'm just hoping that the people who have taken part, the fans, hope that they're comfortable with it, that they're, they're, they feel as though they're enriched by it, and not something that just kind of made them emotional in a negative way. So I'm hoping they can be okay. At some point in these guys' lives, well after leaving the Sky Studio, they will probably realize that they were taken full advantage of. And I just hope when that moment arrives that they will receive the help they clearly need. 
Do you believe we really, you really contacted he Michael? Was very, I looked in I the terrorist eyes and it was him. It was I him. Really? I he was my heart. Was he hugged me and everything. I was so. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this opens a very interesting question. Is it okay to knowingly lie to someone if it makes them happy? Is it okay to deceive them if it makes them happy? Is it okay to feed into someone's delusion if it makes them happy? You know, let's, let's not take a piss here. And this is a serious question. I mean, I have my answer for it, but I'm interested in what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Well, Derek, I mean, for those who might be a bit skeptical. You mean for all those who have fully functioning eyes and ears? What would you say? Well, um... They can feel skeptical. Okay. To be fair to Derek, that's about the best answer that he can give. There is no way he's ever going to convince any skeptic of what we just watched as being legit. So there's no point in him even trying. This is where the TV show mercifully ends. What a mess. It's weird for me to go too hard on Derek since the guy is dead. But in my opinion, he did dirty on all these people sat around the table. So did Sky, and so did just about everyone involved in this show. I do wonder how each of the Michael Jackson enthusiasts feel about their experience on this show today. Carlo from the last Michael Jackson seance video shared his thoughts in the comments, so I really hope if any of the people who were involved in this show are watching this video, could you please just let me know. So, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm off to give a big hug to one of those angry, jacked-up-looking kangaroos. Ta very much. Cheerio! So